Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm Sarah Hatch. I'm an artist and a mom of five children. This is my middle child, my oldest daughter, and um, she and I are going to be drawing... An emperor painting. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna not... Bleh, but we're not just drawing any old emperor penguin. We're drawing the emperor of all penguins, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's from a book that she read recently called Magic Treehouse. So she got that idea to draw an emperor penguin because in the book he has a crown. So we thought that'd be fun. So I'd start about right there with the penguin's beak. So we're gonna make a little hook like that and then come back Good. And then we want it to be nice and thin for this top beak. I think it looks better already. Yeah. All right. And then from right here, we're going to make it more diagonal. Good. All right. And then this is like the chin area. Good. And then it comes up. And I'm just gonna darken this one line just a little bit. All right, so right here is where the eye is gonna be. So you draw a circle and then leave a little highlight in there. Okay, so now we're gonna, from this Beak, you know how it was angled? You see that angle? Then we're just gonna go kind of straight back from that. Okay, that's perfect. And now we're gonna draw the crown. We want the crown to be diagonal, and so we're gonna, I mean like a crooked crown, so we're gonna do a diagonal curved line back here for the crown. And so you did a thicker line than I did, so that could be the center part of the crown or the bottom, whichever one you want, but I'm gonna do a thicker part here right next to it. So now we're gonna make the crown and we're gonna do this curved line up and then like another line going back down with it. And then there's like this circle shape, well more like an oval right next to it. And then we're gonna do another curved line and then just like a little line right next to it. And then another curved line that meets up down close to it but leave room for a, an oval right there. Good job. And then we're gonna come up next to it thicker and then join it up there and we'll just have this little thin line right here next to it and then inside of these these two we're gonna have ovals and circles All right, and then we're gonna have one more wide one coming out and down. And then an oval inside of there, kind of off to the side. And then another line in here for like the three dimensionality of it. And then like on the back part of the crown, you've got another oval over here actually. That's on the back part of the crown. And then like the bottom of the crown, I mean the top, you can see like where those all connect. You should shade that in. And then we're gonna draw an oval on its side right here. And then you can like do a little cross inside of it. And then you can do like another cross on top of it. And that, oh, 
let's do some more gemstones right here in this base of the crown. And that's a cool emperor's crown for our emperor penguin. <laughs> and I need to connect mine right here a little better. Yours is already connected. All right. <clears throat> so there's some cool patterns on the penguin. So we're going to do a line down from right here and then bring it forward and then down and then it joins up here. So that's like a black part on the penguin's face. Good. And then the orange part goes up here and then meets up with the back of the head. So now this cool black pattern goes down and then try to do small little zigzags and then down. We're going to look at this point and come down just a little bit from it and we're going to make another kind of triangle shape and then it's going to connect with the shoulder and then it's going to meet back up with those zigzags you made. Cool. And then it's going to be angling back for the fin or the flipper. So it comes down and then it angles back. And then it's going to be kind of like a curved shape here that leads down into the bigger part of the flipper. And then it goes back up to like the elbow of the flipper. And then it tapers in and then meets back up with the shoulder. Cool. So there's the flipper. That looks good. All right. So now the back of the body, the neck goes in just a little bit there. And then it comes out for there and then angles down. And then it comes to a bump right here and then down and then it goes out for the tail fin and then back in and stop. Cool. Do you think the tuxedos were made after penguins? Yeah, the tuxedos look like penguins, like that's the tuxedo so tail. <laughs> did people actually make them like penguins on purpose? I don't know. We'll have to find out, huh? <laughs> Okay, so now let's do the feet. Okay, so right here under the fin. Can you look at here? Hun? Okay, so we've got the fin right here. Then go up from it and make a little curved line there. And then a diagonal line right there. And then it comes forward curved diagonal. And then you've got the heel right here. And then it comes forward for the toes. And then goes up. And then you got like little claws and up. So there's the first foot. And you go back and up and angle forward. And then stop. And that is one of the legs. And then I just need to finish this toe down here. I didn't quite finish that toe. All right, looking good. And then this foot is a little bit farther forward and you just follow along the same thing. But this leg is gonna disappear right here cause there's gonna be a belly right here. Yeah. So let's finish the foot and then we'll draw the belly. Okay. So I just draw some toes, kind of hiding behind that foot. Mine kind of angles up. I need to angle down more. Oh well. Okay. So now the belly. So it's going to go down and then connect here. So whether you feel more comfortable drawing up, like that or down like that. I think I feel more comfortable drawing down 
So I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw down to connect. But since you're left-handed, sometimes it's easier for you to go a different way than me. <laughs> I'm just thickening up my line down here because I want to. All right, so your penguin's skinnier than mine. Mine's a big fat penguin. <laughs> All right, so now we want him holding his staff. And so what we're gonna do is right across from like the elbow area, or not elbow, well, elbow. So like kind of up from it, we're gonna do a diagonal curved line up and then another one, meet up and then stop. And then up here, you're just gonna do a line over like that and then back down. And then right here, we're gonna come down and then it's gonna, that's gonna be the flipper holding it. And then we're gonna draw, and you can use a ruler if you want, I'm just gonna freehand it this one is his staff. I might fix that up with a bigger sharpie later. And then it comes up here. Yes, dear? Get it, ruler. Oh, uh, ruler. <laughs> An emperor is a ruler, yep. You're good. She's so good with words. Okay. And then you can do like some little decorative things up here for the top of the staff and then it kind of gets wider as it goes up and then bada boom bada bang we got the top part here you can do like little holders for the ball the sphere that we're gonna draw up here for the big gem you can even do one in the middle, that might look cool. It looks like a tulip. Yeah, that's cool. All right, and then I'll just connect that. Now we can use our watercolors to finish it. So we're gonna do it in time lapse. You can color it however you want, but this is gonna be more of a gray, black back here, black here, orange, and then color the crown however you want. There's some orange right here and under the beak. So let's get, let's get painting. All right, here's our penguins. Good job. <laughs> I love yours. And I love mine. I don't always love mine, but I do this time. <laughs> I'd love to see how yours turns out. Tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio on Instagram, and then I'll be able to see how it looks. All right. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future videos, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.